I was inspired to write Duffy Hunter because I've been in Bristol since 1994 and St Paul's has been a big part of my life in Bristol. Worked here, lived here, all kinds of experiences here, right? And so this is the third iteration of Endham Tales by Tamasha Theatre and I wanted to centre it in an area that I knew was both the heart of a community, a migrant community, many migrant communities have come here actually, but the African Caribbean community is the community that I know and appreciate. It's going through lots of changes. And I was thinking, how do you capture change? How do you capture the story of the now? And then Eureka, I thought of a book that June Young, a wonderful artist who's passed on, gave to me and also thought of the work of a beautiful friend of mine, writer Ferdinand Dennis, a pioneering writer of black fiction. Two things came together without reading those works as such, no plagiarism people, but I was like, boom, Duffy Hunter. Hunter. And then I thought, actually, bit of a quest, bit of a narrative, Duffy Hunter. I'm like, I'm loving Duffy Hunter myself. So then because I was enjoying it, it makes it easier to flow. But I thought, hang on a minute, is this just like a, a game, a quest? And I thought, actually, maybe it's also an opportunity to tell a personal story about why people move, why people stay, and how they feel about that within a time, particularly now, 2023, of a huge shift in the identity of this loved area of St. Paul's. Don't be honest.